Hello guys, welcome to VRM24.com. Today we are going to assemble Huawei Watch GT3. We begin by hitting the back core surface for about 2-3 minutes, just in case it is stuck on. However, heating is not strictly necessary, in our case the back core wasn't glued down. Once it is warm, we move on to unscrewing the back core. We use a Torx T2 Phillips screwdriver for this. The screws are not magnetic, so they tend to stay stuck in the core. To remove them, we also use tweezers. After removing the screws, we need to detach the back core. We do this using a thin plastic tool, insert the tool into the gap between the back core and the watch body, and gently work around the edge to lift the core. We already know there is a flex cable connecting the back core to the main board, so lift the core carefully. Identify where the cable is located, tilt the core to expose it, and then unscrew the bracket that holds the connectors in place. So gently remove the screws, securing the bracket. For this we use 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver. That many of the screws are different, so place them on a dedicated surface in the same layout they were removed. This will help you reassemble the watch correctly. Next we remove the bracket. It is hooked in place, so gently slide it out sideways and set it aside. Now we can disconnect the flex cable from the back core. This cable also connects the battery, microphone, speaker and vibration motor. Then we disconnect the connectors on the main board, including the ones for a display and sensors. Now we can remove more screws. Again, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips or a Phillips HTO screwdriver. These screws are also tend to stick, so use tweezers to take them out. And of course, be sure to remove any dropped screws from inside the case to avoid damaging any components. We then remove the retaining clip that holds one more connector in place. After that, unscrew the final screw securing the mine board. Now we can remove the motherboard, carefully lift it at the proper point and gently pull it out and set it aside. Finally, we can remove the battery, which is mounted to the back cover. Start by removing the screw that secures the battery connector. Set it aside. Please note that this screw is different from the others. We remove the bracket holding the connector in place. And we use a non-metal tool to disconnect the battery connector. Now we can peel the battery off. We start from the edge and lift gently. Don't pry too hard to avoid damaging the battery shell. So the battery is detached. Thank you for watching. Got questions? Head to wearm24.com. We answer fast there. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.